Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be going through the three top free personal to-do apps you should consider using in 2023. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Like we did with our note-taking apps, we'll be focusing on apps that we've tried and tested ourselves over the past five years. All the apps on this list are completely free task management apps for keeping track of your personal to-dos. Unlike the handwriting apps, we did not rank these. Uncle Dan is instead recommending the best scenarios for when to employ each tool. Let's start with Google Tasks. Its user interface is not impressive, but it is very simple to use. Its most significant advantage is that it integrates seamlessly with one of the best cross-platform calendars, Google Calendar. If you're already using Google Calendar, Google Tasks will be a great addition to your workflow. Google Calendar can serve as a task manager, allowing you to create new tasks without leaving the calendar. That way, you can have your to-dos and events in one place. The Google Tasks logo differentiates your tasks and events. To further distinguish them, you can also use different colors, green for events and red for your to-dos, for example. On the web version, you can see your tasks on the calendar or quickly toggle the right sidebar to see all your to-dos in Google Tasks. Sadly, you can't add subtasks to repeating to-dos in Google Tasks. The app doesn't have smart lists, which could ease how we organize our tasks. And you can't attach anything to your tasks. All these are crucial for a decent digital workflow. Google Tasks is also not a good standalone app. For collaboration, you have to use it with Google Chat. Jumping around from Google Tasks to Google Calendar and Google Chat can be very confusing. It is better to use Microsoft To Do, which is a better standalone app. Microsoft To Do is available on all operating systems, just like Google Tasks. You can work continuously on different devices because the app will sync all your changes. It's a minimalist and functional app with a beautiful user interface. We love the background colors and images that you can set for your different lists. In Microsoft To Do, you can attach any file to your To Do, as long as it's less than 25 megabytes. The app doesn't limit the number of items you can attach to your tasks. We managed to add more than 10. What are the chances you will need more than that? Even though Microsoft To Do does not have start dates, the app's reminders are an acceptable workaround. So technically, you can set your start and due dates for your tasks in Microsoft To Do, which is awesome. 
Your notes are equally impressive. They have a title, body, and subheading. You can also add numbered and unnumbered lists. When you flag emails in Outlook, they appear in Microsoft To Do as tasks. It is such a handy feature for quickly turning emails into tasks. Though you can create subtasks in Microsoft To Do, they are very basic. You can't add any details to them. Apple Reminders locks you in the Apple ecosystem because it has the worst web app of all the apps on this list. However, its user interface on native apps is modern and minimalist. The app has a plethora of unique features for managing your personal to-dos. Here are the features you get in Apple Reminders that you won't have in Google Tasks or Microsoft to do. Location-based reminders that notify you when you leave or arrive at a set location. Message-based reminders that notify you when you message a person you choose. Detailed subtasks that are as detailed as your main task. Hourly repeating reminders which is the shortest repeat cycle we have seen in any to-do app. Custom smart lists with a lot of filter options. Templates to quickly create repeating lists. So if you have any list that you continue using, maybe every week, every month, or every day, you can save it as a template in Apple Reminders. The app also has universal tags that are easily accessible for creating new tasks and searching for your to-dos in the app. You can add multiple accounts to Apple Reminders and not just from iCloud only because the app lets you add an Outlook account to manage your tasks from Microsoft To Do. You can then add tasks, mark them as complete, or delete them and have all those changes updated in Microsoft To Do. We hope to see support for Google accounts soon. Apple Reminders is the best app for anyone in the Apple ecosystem. Nothing can beat it if you have a Mac, iPad, or iPhone. We hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.